Hello students. So do you love the song we sang just now? Very good. The next lesson will be English. The objectives of today's lesson is to read familiar words and also to copy familiar words and to read sentences. Now let's take out your textbook for English and turn to page number 12. Today we are going to do pages number 12 to 15. Okay, there are so many pages today because last week Tuesday was holiday. So we have to bring forward all the leftover. So until today we have four pages in textbook and four pages in activity book. So don't worry, teacher will guide you to do it. Okay, now let's grab your pencil and eraser. Page 12. Now, let's write today's date, Tuesday, and also the date, 7 September 2021. Let's read. So, we are going to read. Are you ready, students? The bakery is in front of the fire station. The bakery is in front of the fire station. So, we can see there, there is a fire station. So, can you see the fire engine? And we can see a fireman there. So, that is a fire station. And also, the bakery right in front of the fire station. So, bakery is the place where cakes, breads are sold. So, we can buy bread, cakes at a bakery. Can you see that? Very good. So, let's see the next. Now, let's see the next one. The library is behind the hospital. Let's read one more time. The library is behind the hospital. Now, let's see. Can you see the library there? You can see the book symbol there on the library. Library is a place where you can borrow books. You can go and have your revisions. You can sit there and read. A library. So the library is behind the hospital. How to identify the library is behind the hospital? Can you see the hospital? The door is in front. The ambulance is in front there. But the library is right behind of the hospital. Very good. Now let's see the next one. The post office is next to the car park. The post office is next to the car park. Yes, can you see the post office, the red color building there with the male symbol there? And the car park right next to the post office. Very good. Now let's read the next one. The toy shop is between the clinic and the cafe. The toy shop is between the clinic and the cafe. Can you see the toy shop? Can you see the toy symbol? Yes, and also the clinic and the cafe. So the toy shop is in between. Very good. Now let's turn to page 13. Let's read student. I buy stamps at the post office. I buy stamps at the post office. Yes, we can buy stamps at the post office. After buy the stamp, we can post the letter to our friends, to our cousins. We can also send things through the post office. The next one, he borrows books from the library. He borrows books from the library. Can you see the boy? He borrows some books from the library. Very good. And the last picture, we buy cakes from the bakery. We buy cakes from the bakery. Can you see the boy and the girl buying cakes from the bakery? Like teacher told you before, we can buy cakes, 
breads, tarts from the bakery. Very good. Now let's see the down part there. Let's act and talk. Can you see the cat there? A cat in between of the car and the bicycle. So the car, so, so the bicycle girl is ringing the bells. Ring, ring. And the uncle from the car, what is he doing? Honk, honk. The car horn honks. Now let's read the sentences given. A bicycle bell rings. A car horn honks. Yes, very good. So, bicycle bell rings. Ring, ring. And a car horn honks. Honk, honk. So, we use rings and honks when there's an emergency. Okay, now let's turn to page 14. What do these road signs tell you? Let's read. Before that, let's see the traffic light. There are three lights, three colors at the traffic lights. The first one will be red, the second one yellow, and the third one green. So now let's read and find out what are the meaning of the lights. Are you ready? This is a traffic light. Red light means stop. So, we should stop our vehicles whenever we see red light before us. Yellow light means ready to stop. So, yellow light means you have to be ready to stop. So, you don't, so you can't speed when the light shows yellow. And the last one, green light means go. So, if there is a green light, at the traffic light, you can drive, you can go. Now, there are a few other road signs here. Let's see, let's see the first one. Stop. Stop. These signs shows you should stop. The next one. The sign as though it is minus. Can you see the sign? The red color board with a white color sign white color minus sign it means no entry you cannot go in there no entry how about this a bus sign what is that yes it means a bus stop and the last one school children crossing so whenever you see the sign of school children crossing you should slow down because it's a school area. Very good students. So now let's see what is the bird is saying. It is important to follow road signs. Why? Yes, students, it is important to follow all the road signs. But why? Do you know why? The main reason is to avoid accidents. So, if you follow the road signs, no accidents can happen. So, there are many other answers. So, if you have any other answers, you can write there. Very good. Now, let's turn to the last page, page 15. So, this will be the revision. Write the answers. So, we have go, hotel. Rings, stop, bakery, and bank. So there are few pictures there. Let's start with the first one. So what is this building, students? Yes, it's a bakery. You can see the symbol of the bread there. So how do you spell bakery? B-A-K-E-R-Y, bakery. So, make sure you write nicely on the line. After that, you cross out the answer you have right. Bakery. Very good. The next one. What is that, students? Hotel. Do you remember teacher told you the star represents whether the hotel is one star, two star, three star, 
4 star or 5 star. So here we have 3 star hotel. H O T E L. Hotel. Let's cross out hotel. And the, leg, and the next building. Can you see the money symbol there? Yes, it's a bank. B A N K. Bank. Very good. After you write down bank, let's cross out. Now, let's see the down one. When the traffic lights turn green, can you see the traffic light? It has turned green. We can. What can we do when the traffic lights turn green? Whether we can go, stop or rings. Which is the right answer, students? Yes, when the traffic lights turn green, we can go. G-O, go. Very good. So, students, can you do the next two pictures there? This sign means we must see the sign and write the answer. And also a bicycle bell. So, can you do that, students? Very good. Now, let's take out your activity book for English and turn to page number 12. Again, we have page number 12 to 15 to do today. Page 12. Let's write today's date, Tuesday and the date, 7 September 2021. Write the answers. So let's read the answers first. In front of, next to, between and behind. Now let's see the first picture. Now let's read the first sentence. The post office is blank. The car park. Now, before we see the picture, let's see the keywords. Post office and car park. Post office and car park. Now, let's see the picture. So, we can see the post office and the car park. So, what is the best answer? The post office is in front of or next to or in between or behind. Very good. The post office is next to the car park. So now, after I write the answer, let's cross out next to. Very good. The next sentence. The library is blank the hospital. So here the keywords are library and hospital. So now let's see the picture. Can you see the hospital? The door is in front there with an ambulance in front and also the library behind. Yes, the right answer is the library is behind the hospital. Very good. Can you cross out the answer behind? So students, teacher have guided you to answer two pictures. Can you do the two more by yourself? Can you do that? Very good. Now, let's turn to page 13. Here we have two parts. Let's see the first one first. Write the answers. So, we have three answers from the library, from the bakery, at the post office. So, now we write the correct answer to the correct column. On what can we do at each place? The first one. He borrows books. So, where does he borrows book? From the library or from the bakery or at the post office? Where can you borrow? Where can you borrow book? Yes, from the library. So, he borrows books from the library. Very good. So, after that, let's cross out. Can you do the next one, students? We buy cakes and I buy stamps. Well done. Now, let's see the down part. Rearrange the words. Then write. Rearrange the words. 
Then write the complete sentences. So there are two pictures with some words. So we have to rearrange the words to complete the sentences. Let's start with the first one. We have bell, bicycle, rings and a full stop together and also a. So what is the best way to start a sentence? Yes, we have to start with a big letter. So which word starts with the big letter here? The capital letter here. Yes, a. Uh, very good. A. Uh. So now, let's see the next one. Either bell, bicycle or rings. So rings cannot because rings has a full stop together. So rings will be the last word. So in between, we have the bell. And the bicycle. Yes, a bicycle. Yes, a bicycle bell rings. Very good. Make sure you have the full stop there. Now, can you do the next one, student? Ka, hon, hongs, he. Can you do that, students? Very good. Now, let's turn to page 14. What do these road signs tell you? Color the circles correctly, then write the answers. So we have stop, go, ready to stop. Let's start with the first one. Red light means, red light means what student? Yes, red light means stop. S-T-O-P. Stop. Very good. So, let's cross out stop. So, red light. So, color the circle red light. Very good. So, red light means stop. The first light, the first color of the traffic light will be red. Very good. Can you do the next one? Yellow light means what? And also, green light Green line means what? And make sure you color the circles yellow and green. Now, the next one. Match the answers. So, we have three answers there. Match the answers. So, we have no entry, school children crossing, and also bus stop. Let's see with the first picture. What can you see from the picture? Yes, we can see children crossing the road. So, what is the right answer here? Very good, school children crossing. Now, let's take your ruler and match to school children crossing. Very good. So, we have two more pictures there, the bus and also the minus. And also the minus symbol. So what these two represents? Can you do this yourself? Very good. Now let's see the last picture for... Now let's turn to the last page for today. Page 15. Revision. So teacher will write the answers. We have six pictures with answers here. Police station. Cafe, fire station, car park, toy shop, and hospital. So write the correct answer at the correct picture. So teacher will help you to answer two pictures and then the balance, you have to do it yourself. The first one. We can see what that, what building is that? Make sure you see the symbol to identify the building. Yes, we can see hot coffee there. So, what is the right answer? Yes, it's a cafe. Can you spell cafe, students? C-A-F-E. Cafe. Let's cross out cafe. Very good. The next one. With a moon symbol. Yes, it's a hospital. Let's write down hospital. 
H O S P I T A L hospital Very good After done can you cross out hospital So see teacher have guided you with two pictures you have to do the balance by yourself very good students did you know that it is a quite long lesson today but you did a good job yay well done now you can keep your book and have a short break time <laughs>